So my live trades today didn't. Here's how it works. Hi traders, back to trading after a long uh, week in Seychelles with the family. Been on a holiday looking at BA here. So take a look at BA, nice reversal. Stock is up 1.3%, buying now 4,000 shares. And again, it's very early, but it shows some strength. The same as with mRNA, as you can see here. Started with a gap up, reversing, nothing special here. Strong stock that is looking well, and I'm just about to buy 4,000 shares. If it moves over 167.70, which is right over here, it just did. I missed it, and I'm buying now because it's going there again. So again, a stock that is starting with a gap up, and I'm going to fast forward it so you will see what happened there because it took it a little bit uh, more time than I expected, really. So these are one minute candles, and it's moving up. Just moved over the highs, looking good, getting to my target just over a point here, over $4,000 in profit, took my partial here. And that was a nice trade. And again, nothing special. Both of them, mRNA and BA, as you can see here, starting moving now, were both my pre-market picks. So I was watching them, planning this trade pre-market time. And then, you know, the only reason I, I, I picked them pre-market time because they were both strong. About take my partial, again, over one point, taking now my partial in Boeing. Both of them moved approximately one point which was also my stop loss again looking at FUTU this one I did not plan it just came up because one of our trading room members was watching it and I'm about to buy now 4,000 shares because it has a beautiful bull flag formation now again the stock is up 9% that means a lot of people are watching it look at the volume almost 3 million shares and again I'm fast forwarding it now a little bit so you can see what happened there again over one point just moved over one point took my parcel a little bit less than one point Again, my target was one point. My stop loss was approximately the same. Now, I do have several winners by now, three winners to be exact, and I'm planning my short in BEKE. -E. I'm about to go short right now under 49.40, and I just uh, moved in and uh, hoping it's going to continue and break down under the lows. Notice that the lows is uh, was 49.20, and we just broke under, and again, fast forward, it's getting to my target, which is around 50 cents. Now, you may ask yourself, why 50 cents earlier? My targets were one point. I could get one point here, took my partial here, but I did not want to. The, the thing is, uh, here's my results. The thing is, uh, I had three winners. Look at uh, my profit here in um, mRNA, $4,600, BA, almost $1.3,800. They're all still open. As you can see, I'm still riding a small size and hoping that it's going to continue. So the, the thing is, once you have several winners, you, you tend to make mistakes because you feel you're invincible and you don't want to be there. You don't want to make the next trade and take a big mistake where you, when, when you're finally in green territory to go back to red. Now, I don't know how many times it happened to you. If it happened to you in the past that you had a great day and finished in red, write down here in the comments why it happened to you. Why do you think it happened to you? Or if it did happen to you, or maybe it did not happen to you. Let's, let's have a conversation about this right here in the comments. You see, the fact is, it happened to me so many times when I started as a trader that I had to figure out a way to get around that. And the only way to get around that is to lower my size. Yes, I do feel invisible. I just had three amazing trades. I also had a small trade in SPC, as you can see here, which did not finish, uh, well, finished in green. Green is good. But anyway, the fact is you need to be careful not to go back to red or not to have a big loser. The only way to do that is, well, there's several ways of doing that. First, just stop trading. Just sit on the fence. Stop, really. You've done enough. You've reached your target. That's it. Enjoy your day. The second way, reduce your size. Reduce your size dramatically. So I took like a half risk trade on this BEKE -E trade. The reason I did that is because I know I feel invincible and feeling invincible is dangerous. It is dangerous. It is dangerous to your account. And again, it happened to me so many times that I was in green and finished, down, finished in red. <laughs> well, let's have a discussion about this right here below. So uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this. This was a, an important lesson and I, I, I hope you got my meaning here. So anyway, if you want to see more of my day trading content, make sure that you subscribe. There's a button right here and turn on the notification bell so you will be notified of my future uploads. And if you do want to trade with me or read my book or get free trading resources, 
check out the links right here below because there will be lots of links here which you can join for free so anyway thank you very much for watching this please give us a thumb up for this video it helps our channel helps more people like you uh, get more day trading content so thank you again and stay green and i'll see you tomorrow